we had a we had a tough decade the last 10 years where we lost our a lot of our textile industry and jobs that were here for a long time and we're just starting to get our feet back under us and, and looking to move forward still have mm -hmm. a strong manufacturing base it could have been built right here hundreds of manufacturing jobs right here in danville with unemployment stuck at nine and a half percent those hundreds of new jobs would have meant a lot to this city and to Pennsylvania County. So a place like this would have been would have been perfect, right? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's we've got plenty of land, plenty yeah. of people ready to work. Yeah. Would have been perfect right here in Southside. There's no manufacturing plant here because political insider Terry McAuliffe passed on Virginia, decided he'd rather build his plant in Mississippi. Even bragged about it on TV. He had the best deal of all the 50 states. Mississippi said, I want manufacturing. Claimed it was because Virginia just wasn't interested. But even that turned out to be untrue. Uh, at the time, it, you know, we all thought it was coming to Virginia, you know, and, and we're excited. I mean, um, and then to find out, you know, they took it down to Mississippi makes no sense. It's political garbage and double talk like this that made me want to get off the sidelines and get into the arena to change things. And unlike Terry, I'm a real deal genuine up by my own bootstraps entrepreneur. I know firsthand how vital high paying jobs like the kind Terry sent to Mississippi could be to our communities. In fact, with the help of an amazing team, I've grown two companies right here in the Commonwealth of Virginia, because simply there isn't a better place in America to start up and build a company. We're ready to go to work. I think we, we need some leadership in Richmond that, that helps us get there. We need leaders who understand the fundamentals of our economy, who will fight each and every day to create good jobs here in Virginia. And that's what I am, and that's why I'm running. With the right kind of leadership, fields like this one right here can make the dreams of tomorrow's entrepreneurs come true and the economic future of a community.